What's up guys, welcome to another Madden modding tutorial, and today, this was a request, shout out to Cursive138, uh, um, he was the one that recommended me to do this tutorial, so yeah, I'm gonna do this for you guys. As you can see here and on the thumbnail, uh, you can create tons of cool face scans with this method. Um, there's two ways to do it, there's, the way I'm gonna show you, which is a lot easier, is in Photoshop, but then there's a way to do it in Blender, which I'm not gonna show y'all. But, uh, anyway, yeah. So, as you can see here, I made Thanos. And you can make anyone you want with this method. It's, like I said, it's it's really cool. But, uh, for today's purposes, we are going to be creating Steph Curry um, over a player. So, I'm going to show you all how that is done. So, what you want to... So, for this, you're going to need, of course, Photoshop, Frosty, and then a picture. Uh, it needs to be a front... Uh, it needs to be a front-facing, uh, like, good light photo that, uh, the, uh, the, the light in it isn't kind of, like, distorted in different colors. So, I'll show you my Steph Curry picture I'm going to be using. So, that is my Steph Curry picture I'm going to be using right there, um, for this tutorial. As you can see, front-facing, uh, pretty high-quality picture. This is from ESPN. A uh, good way to find, uh, like, faces that are just like this is look up. LeBron James stats, or Steph Curry stats, or the guy you want to look for, um, so, yeah, so, first you need, first, the, the first thing you need to do is go into Frosty and find a good head, now, um, of course you need to find something that kind of matches what you're going for, uh, so, yeah, so you're now in Frosty, so, the characters are, or the players are content, characters, player, players and then you want to go to either the generic heads or the teen heads I would recommend the teen heads so for Steph Curry he's about a skin tone too so you're just gonna kind of look through these uh, mainly the meshes uh, are gonna determine um, what you kind of want so I'm just, I'm just gonna find a random one I mean I, I don't really care about mine being perfect but um so yeah, so I think I'm going to rock with that other one. Let me see how that one looks real quick. Yeah, so I'm going to use this one. Um, so what you want to do is export that color. Export that as a DDS, of course. Um, don't worry about the norm right now. Um, so Photoshop, we're going to go to open. Now, if you're going for a hairstyle, a certain hairstyle you want, so with these teen heads, they don't have any hair. But if you want to create, um, if you want to create something like, um, like say you want to make, uh, I don't know, I don't know, a good example, uh, I don't know, say you want someone with a crazy hairstyle, long hair, and uh, so these teen guys don't have it. You're gonna have to find a player that has long hair that's uh, retired, and you want to load it transparency as an alpha channel. Um, so, once you're there, um, you're gonna have this, so you're gonna go, uh, you're gonna place embedded your, uh, Steph Curry, or, in my case, is Steph Curry picture, so, I'll find that. Uh, where did I put it? Um, here we go. So, you're gonna have this Steph Curry picture, so, obviously, you're going to want to remove all this crap off of here outlines and all that so we do that and so for the hair so for Steph Curry I'm just gonna use uh, you know so you see his beard uh, the hair I'm just gonna use what I have on here but if you want an actual like hairstyle that looks similar look for certain players that have that hair and you can copy and paste it on so uh, actually I may I may actually show that so what you want to do is look through these players. Like, this guy's perfect for if you want a little buzz cut look. Um, so I'm kind of looking for kind of a fade thing. And I actually know uh, what would be good. So I would use a coach. And I'm going to use Matt LaFleur. Uh, so coach, coaches. Uh, LaFleur. Where's Matt LaFleur? There we go. So you can just export, export that, and the hair's not gonna look perfect. This is just for uh, the look I'm looking for. Of course, there are different looks you could do, uh, but this is just for that. So 
Gonna place embedded that. That Matt LaFleur had. Now we want that Steph Curry thing above that. And the only thing on Matt LaFleur we're gonna kind of erase is this uh, face. Is this face right here. Because the face is gonna have... I know I'm kind of cutting off the hair a little bit. But the face has the certain details that we need. Because if we don't see the details correctly... Could screw up our design and our nose could be the le to the left of where it actually needs to be so you kind of have to erase the face and then use everything else um, it's not gonna be perfect but I'm trying to erase everything here okay so once you've once you've done that um, like I said this isn't gonna be perfect but uh, so you have your Steph Curry here you want to erase so you get to his, all his neck is cut off. Um, then you want to zoom that in and get rid of any white that's around him. So that could be in his hair. And I recommend using the brush that's not 100% uh, solid so you can kind of get the edges. Um, and then I cut off the ears because it makes it easier for me. You can cut off the ears, just make sure you align them later. Um, so, once we've cut off uh, Stefan Curry, uh, as you can see here, his uh, his thing is kind of uh, a little slanted a little bit. So, I'm going to rotate it um, over a little bit. So, there we go. So, we have it. Now, we have it perfect. And... I do need to erase a little bit right there. So now what you're gonna do is you're going to set the opacity to that and you're gonna align kind of the eyes and the nose. So the way I do it is I go to uh, edit transform and I go to distort and with distort you can kind of pull on this and set it correctly so it's kind of pulled and remember you need to set up these align these eye the eyes and nose so they all work right so we're gonna pull this and right here so we're gonna turn this back on all the way bam 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 so now we're going to turn that back on and we need to get these certain features right. So these eyes, we do not want them on there because if they're on there, they'll show on the skin because the eyes are automatically kind of generated. So we want to erase that and get it to the kind of the base of the other dude because that's where the eyelid starts. And then you're going to want to erase the nose, at least the bottom, the nostrils. So those are aligned. And then the mouth, if they're smiling, because you want to make sure that those those teeth are um, those teeth are not messed up. So as you can see here, um, I'm almost done. Kind of trying to get this all lined up. So this is, like I said, this is trial and error and stuff. Um, you're not gonna, you may not get it perfect on your first attempt. Uh, so just know that it's it's not, you know, perfect process or anything. Um, but yeah, that's that's about it. Um, I'm going to work on this. I'm gonna time lapse this so y'all can see what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, I will see you in Frosty after this time lapse. Okay, so one other thing I forgot to mention. Um, so if your thing is kind of like not blending well, uh, what you can do is you can go to image. Uh, adjustments and then go to brightness and contrast and you can kind of try and get this to get the look you want uh, to blend it with your other head 
Uh, it can be kind of difficult, so you may have to tinker with a bunch of different heads uh, to get the right um, get the right kind of look. But if that's not working for you, again, you can just erase like the forehead and stuff. You can erase the forehead and stuff if it's just not working out. Uh, you can erase, like I said, you can erase the forehead and all that. If it's just not working for you. So, yeah. Now, of course, this is going to screw up Steph's hairline. But, um, yeah, I can re, uh, redo that. So, yes. So, now I'm going to save this. Save as, um, going to want to save it as a DDS. Just call it Steph Curry. And you're going to want to go color plus alpha BC7 sRGB. Okay, now, uh, just don't worry about the Steph Curry head. It, I, I know it's screwed up. Uh, so once you've done that, you need to go to generate the normal. You're going to go to filter, 3D, generate normal map. So once you do that for your first thing, it's going to, uh, so it does take a little while to load. So you just press OK. And then after that, you can just go Alt Control F and it'll remember your selection. Alt Control F. And then you save that as a DDS. So Steph Curry Norm. Color plus Alpha. That. So again, this wasn't the perfect look. This was kind of a first try tutorial for me, like just showing y'all how it's done. So now once we're there, we're going to go to the teen body that we imported over originally. So, yeah, it was this dude, sorry. Um, so you're going to import Steph Curry color over that. And I know it's screwed up on the hair, just just don't worry about it. Um, just don't do that when you're doing it. Uh, this was just for tutorial purposes. Now, so you've created that norm. Now you can look go look at your mesh. And see how it looks. As you can see, uh, looks okay. The the cheek could have gone a little better, and it looks like he has tattoos over there, and it looks like he has a mustache. Uh, of course, if it looks terrible, you can just go back to the drawing board and try again. Uh, now to apply it, you're going to want to go to Madden AMP roster editor. Um, I'll put the link in the description. Uh, so I'm just gonna pick one of my old rosters uh, to use. So some ult ultimate team roster. I don't even know what this is. So you'll go to the player editor. Of course, this is basic AMP know-how. I'm gonna do a another video on this. So we're just gonna put them on the 49ers. Uh, cause why not? Um. So I'll just replace CJ Beathard. So. Steph Curry. Now, after that, you're gonna. The only thing you need to do is go to this asset right here and type in exactly what's there. So, teen, teen, underscore two, underscore b, underscore b, underscore one. So that should get it for you. Now you're just going to go file, save. Now, uh, this may look ugly, and if it does, of course I can go back and redo it. But this was just for the tutorial. Hopefully this will get on your feet. Uh, I don't even know if I want to show this monstrosity, but I'm going to do it anyway. So yeah, see? Okay, so now that we're in, now that we're in Madden, we're going to go to share and manage files. Put in delete files. And of course, save your roster. Now we'll go to franchise. That's the best way to preview your faces. I think it's the only way to preview your faces. And then we'll choose active roster. Okay, like I said, the hairline kind of screwed up and the mustache <laughs> kind of screwed up. But as you can see, there's a pretty easy way to do this. Uh, 
without the hairline, I think that's a pretty good scan. And, uh, yeah. So, I hope y'all enjoyed, and yeah, peace.